Hi everyone, welcome to week 25 of Nutrition Bites. All right, so today I'm gonna to share a delicious recipe for enchiladas. So we'll talk about the ingredients, then we'll talk about a little bit about plant-based products, and then we'll talk about this idea called the plant slant, and then I'll share some of my favorite whole food plant-based resources for you all, and then the weekly challenge. Okay, so this is a recipe for enchiladas that I love to make. It's great to make a couple batches if you have the extra pans and keep them in the freezer. Um, but they're really delicious. They're filled with a lot of vegetables. You could swap out a lot of different beans or different vegetables depending on what you like. You can make it spicy. You can make it not spicy. So there's a lot of wiggle room that you have with this recipe, but I encourage you to give it a try. Okay, so we've talked about this in other sessions, but I just want to come back to it. So there are tons of plant-based alternative products out there available in the stores from vegan meats, vegan cheeses, sauces. There's so many options. And so I just want to share a couple thoughts on these products. So ideally, these products really shouldn't be staples in your diet. They shouldn't be something that you're having every day, every meal, super frequently. Um, rather, they should serve as a way to help you transition from a animal-based diet to a plant-based diet. So if you're used to having burgers and cheese and some of these other things, they can help you make that transition a little bit more smoothly. Once you've made this transition, then I want to challenge you to do another transition and to start using more whole food uh, options like tofu and beans. Um, so then once you've made that final transition, you know, it's not to say that you can never eat these products, but it's more thinking about them as a celebratory treat or something for a special occasion. Um, but again, not something to have on a daily basis. Okay, so this um, idea of the plant slant, this was um, first talked about by Dan Butner, who is the author of The Blue Zone Solution. If you haven't read that book, I highly recommend it because uh, Loma Linda is one of the blue zones. Um, so this idea of the plant slant basically says that 95% of your food should come from a plant or a plant product. Now, again, these are plant products um, but we don't want to place emphasis on having only these. We want to have the more whole food plant-based diet. Um, so individuals who live in these blue zones, like Loma Linda, um, consume, um, or other blue zones, if they do consume meat, they do so really sparingly and more as a celebratory food. So similar to the um, plant-based uh, meat alternatives, think of those more as a celebratory food. Um, and so the reason I bring this up with this recipe is that a lot of times when we make recipes like enchiladas, we think, oh, I need to have vegan burger meat or I need to have vegan cheese. And no, this recipe here has none of that. It just has vegetables, sauce, the whole wheat tortillas. It just omits those other um, really processed plant-based products. They're not necessary in this recipe. It's delicious without it. Um, so I wanted to share, there is a, if you have a Pinterest account, or even if you don't have a Pinterest account, I think you can look it up, but there is a plant slant Pinterest page that has tons of recipe ideas for really, um, great whole food plant-based recipes. Um, so in the article version of this video, I'm going to share a document that has my running list of whole food plant-based resources. It includes websites, blogs, meal planners, um, meal delivery services, books, apps, podcasts. It's really just my running list of things that I like to share with people. So I'm going to include that here for you guys. All right, so this week I wanna challenge you to take the plant slant challenge. So aim to have 95% of your calories coming from plants or plant products. Again, if you're choosing to incorporate some of those plant-based meat alternatives, um, keep it to a really small minimum and challenge yourself to get most of your food from whole plant foods. That is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.